Okay, so we have yet another release from the Quint team, and this time it's a coding model. This is based on their Quint 3 series, and it's probably one of their most significant model, because this is the first open weight model that is coming close to Claude Sonnet 4 on a number of key benchmarks. But even beyond the benchmarks, it's a very solid coding model based on some of my early testing. And I highly recommend to test out the model uh, because there is something special about this one. Before looking at the model, I also want to talk about the Quinn team itself. We have heard a lot about DeepSeek and Kimiket too, but I think the Quinn team is one of the most significant contributor to open source and open weight models. They have a number of different models. So they have the Quint 3 series, then they have embedding models, 3 ranker, vision language model. Uh, there are omni models, which are multimodal models with different modalities, both as an input and output. And usually the models that they create are extremely strong. So some of the other companies like NVIDIA has been getting models on top of these. So NVIDIA recently released the Nemotron uh, open reasoning family which are really strong models and they are built on top of Quinn models. So when they release a model, it's actually worth looking at into. Apart from the model, they also open source Quinn code, which is built on top of Gemini CLI. So think of this as their version of Claude code. Uh, the model is already available at a number of different places and it's extremely fast in code generation. It's one of their biggest coding model, uh, but it's a mixture of expert. Some quick technical details before looking at a few examples. So it's a MOV, a 480 billion parameter model. So it's a huge model where only 35 billion uh, parameters are active uh, with a context window of 256 tokens that can be extended up to 1 million token. So we have an open weight model that is on par with Gemini series when it comes to context window. And this is specifically trained for coding. Uh, so it should be good at agentic coding, agentic browser use, and agentic tool use. We'll have to see when the community starts building on top of it. But based on my limited experience with this model, it's really good at UI creations and instruction following. As a coding agent, you can use it inside Quint code or even within Claude code. If you're interested, let me know. I'll create a video on this. And that also means you can install it within other coding agents such as Klein. Uh, it's available on open router, so you will be able to get a free API key and use it within Klein, both with paid and free options. There's a very interesting observation in the blog post. So they say there is still re room to scale in pre-training. At the moment, they're using 7.5 trillion tokens. About 70% of it is, is code. If you look at Kimi K2, which is almost a trillion parameter model that was trained on uh, about 15 trillion tokens. Now this model is almost half of that size and they're using almost half of the tokens for training. But it seems like the Quint team thinks there is more opportunity in scaling up pre-training. And another trend that we are seeing is use of synthetic data. So in this case, they have used Quint 2.5 coder and basically use that as a basis for cleaner data for pre-training. Just like any other lab, they are using on RL during post-training. And it seems like there is still a lot of opportunity uh, in terms of improving the model or scaling up a post-training. Now, interestingly enough, it's not a reasoning or thinking model. So it's very similar to the release that they had yesterday uh, with the updated Quint3 model. But the choices they are making are a little different from some of the other frontier companies. So even though it's a non-reasoning model, uh, the performance that it gets on something like a sweep bench verified, is pretty huge compared to some of the earlier iteration of open weight models, uh, including DeepSeek R1 and V3, and now the latest Kimi K2. So it's very comparable to Cloud Sonnet 4 uh, when it comes to performance on sweep bench verified especially for a long horizon multi-turn conversations and multi-turn tasks. For training this on long horizon RL, they specifically created environments. So they, in this case, they had 20,000 independent environments in parallel, which were running on the Alibaba cloud infrastructure. And they highlight that 
it is one of the top open source model on Sweepbench verified without test time scaling or reasoning. So it's an interesting choice, but reasoning for long duration doesn't always help. And in fact, uh, there was this article from Arc AGI team, which shows that early responses showed higher accuracy. Uh, and if the model is thinking for longer, it does not mean that it's going to get to a better answer, which is a very interesting observation. So this is comparing both three on different settings. And within a given setting or a thinking budget, it turns out that the model usually finds the answers if it thinks for a short duration. If it starts thinking for long duration, there is a higher probability that it's going to get that answer wrong, which is a very interesting observation. And sometimes it makes you think that a reasoning model may not be a solution uh, in most cases. One note on the benchmarks. So yesterday they released Quint 3 updated version and something that caught my attention was this Arc AGI score, which they claim to have almost 42%, which is very significant for any model. But today, Francis Schwa tweeted this, who is part of the Arc AGI team. Please note, we are not able to reproduce the 41.8% Arc AGI 1 score claimed by the latest Quint 3 release, neither on the public eval sets nor on the semi-private set. The numbers we are seeing are in line with other recent base models. In general, only rely on scores verified by the ARC Price Foundation on the semi-private set. That way you can trust that the methodology was consistent and fair across all the models verified. In response, uh, there was somebody from the Quint team. He said, hey, if we use the JSON format for convenient parsing, I'll deem you uh, for reproduction. So it's really good that the Quint team is directly helping uh, for reproduction of RKGI score. Now RKGI is significant because I think there was some controversy when even O3 was released. OpenAI used some of the training data, but that's a whole different story. So always take these benchmark scores with a grain of salt and always test this on uh, your own uh, private benchmarks or uh, private test sets. Uh, but some of the examples that they have shared looks very impressive. And in fact, that is my experience as well with some of my limited testing. So let me show you a couple of examples of the things that I was able to re uh, create with this. So here are some of my go-to tests, balls falling and within a spinning heptagon. In the next iteration, I asked it to add controls to it uh, and everything seems to be working. And this is a relatively hard test because open weight models usually struggle a lot with this. And in the last iteration, I added some of these animations. When I click on a ball, there is an explosion. Everything scatters around, right? Some of the balls go out and it does work. Uh, here's another example. And it seems like this model is definitely trained uh, for these sorts of animations. And it does a pretty good job with them. Okay, this last one is a web app. Uh, that's basically a gallery of the places that you have visited. So if you click on a place, it's supposed to show uh, some of the images that you have taken. Now, uh, this is all simulated data, and I think even the locations that it shows are probably not correct. But this is a very good example of a single shot type of applications that it can create. And this is just some updates to it based on a couple of further interactions. Now, it does have trouble with solving some mazes. So, for example, is the maze that I tried to solve with this and it goes all over the place. But I think if you use it in an agentic mode and give it access to some of the coding tools, it will do much better on this specific maze. But overall, it's a pretty impressive release. I highly recommend to test it out and give it a shot. Uh, you can try it on the Quent platform. Also, it's available on Hugging Face, uh, through Open Router, and any coder uh, as well. So I'll post some of those links in the video description. Do let me know how your experience with this model is and I'll see you in the next one.